What is up, my squid lights? It is I, your king, welcoming back to more Let's Play Midnight Club 3 Dub Edition Remix. Last episode, we finally unlocked this baby, and this is kind of what I settled with here, but... I think... Is that a... The... The... Oh, oh, okay, okay, I can't zoom in. Okay, I guess those aren't dense. They just kind of look like it, because I guess it's the refracted light or something. I don't know. Anyways, we finally got this car, okay? And we are here in Tokyo, but I'm just going to make a couple upgrades just because I want to show you guys kind of what I'm going for. I think I'm going to go for something different this time. Let's let's try to be a little bit more creative. Uh, what do we got at number... Let's go with number... Ooh, that's ooh, that's interesting. All right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to change it up a little because I've been doing... I mean, I have my own style, but I've been going with that too much. We need to try something else. Let's, let's go with... I did not mean to hit painted. I know it's already installed. Let's go with carbon fiber. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty cool. All right. And for tail lights, uh, styles, uh, we could do that, and then we could change the material. No, we can't. You know what? Let's, yeah, let's just go with that. Let's go with the that kind of tail light. Okay, can I? Thank you. Gosh. Okay. Jeez. Front grills. Uh, let's see. What's this dark one? I kind of like that one. Let's go with the stock one, actually. That that'll be interesting. And spoilers. Um. Uh, spoiler alert. <laughs> There's a spoiler. Okay, that was terrible. Um, and then for other designs, we could go with. Oh, these are all interesting. Oh yeah, let's go with the two. Let's go with the like the two prongs or whatever. That that that's cool. And for wheels, um, I think I'm gonna stick with what I got. They're they're well, I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't. I don't know. <laughs> wire D88. I freaking love wire D88. It's like the most expensive kind too. Uh, sure, let's just stick with wire D88, why not? And then for tires, where's the red line? There's a white stripe, white stripe, white outline. Where are you? I swear there's like a red line one. There it is. Yeah, let's go with the red line. Uh, and then, let's go over to the paint shop and change this thing up a lot. Alright, where are you? Paint shop. Let's just have some fun with this thing. Yeah, we're just, we're just gonna, just gonna be changing up cars a little bit. I'm gonna go pearlescent. Um, let's see. Hmm. Green. Oh my gosh. I think I'm gonna go with something custom. Uh, let's try to go with some. Let's go pur purple. Yeah. No. Uh, let's go with something. Let's go like with a blue this time. Yeah. Like kind of a, kind of a sort of deep blue, and then we can add in. Oh, the green's all right. Let's see. There's the green. Then there's the yellow. Add it into it. That looks kind of cool. Um, how about? No, I don't want to go purple. I really don't want to do like a purple here. Let's, let me see. And then adding red would probably not be the best idea. What about a lighter blue? Hmm. See, it's getting that kind of purple vibe to it, though. I'm not really liking that. I don't know why. It just look. It might just be my TV, but it still looks very purplish. Purpley. It's purple down there too. Oh, I know why. I know why it looks purple. Okay, it's not the freaking. Yeah, it's not the freaking paint. It's the decal, because I when I originally set this, I set a decal. Okay. Uh, no, let's not go with red. Let's go with green. Okay. But I'm going to change up the uh, decal. I'll change up the trim in a second. I just want to quickly fix the decal so I can see um, the differences on this. So, vinyls. Uh, let's just go with none for the vinyl. I don't even want one. Screw it. Let's just not do it. Let's, where, where is it? Where, where, hold on. Yeah, no vinyl. Let's go with no vinyl. There we go. See? That looks better. Now it doesn't have that purple look to it. Yeah. I'm okay with this. Um, although, I guess the color could stand to be a little bit more interesting. Um, okay, so back to the color shop. Let's go with a deeper color. So custom. Let's see. Let's see. I kind of like that. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool. I freaking like that. All right. I, I, I'm okay with that. Window tint, let's go with no window tint. Uh, rims, let's go with copper, brass. I think we'll just go with basic uh, chrome finish. Brake calipers, sure, let's make them green, why not? I don't even care, you barely see them. Exhaust, and we're going to go with chrome again, just to kind of match it up. Neon, don't care, exhaust. Let's give it a blue exhaust, yeah. And then for the trim, I guess we'll just go, well, let's see. There's the copper. A blue trim would be insane. And a brass trim. Oh, the brass trim kind of looks cool. Hmm. 
I think we'll do the brass finish. Yeah, let's do that. And then for the HUD, uh, let's keep the theme and go blue. All right, I think that's going to do it. Uh, I already have the performance upgrades. The only thing you can upgrade on this thing is nitrous. And I know that was a long part of the video, but that's okay. It's okay, because all we're doing in this video is we're just going to be doing uh, challenge races anyway. And I'm going to be showing off the SL55. I will extend this video a little bit because of that, though, so it'll, it'll probably go to more, almost 20 minutes or something like that. Um, but yeah, so that'll be fun. Um, let's do this thing. So basically, the only things available to us in Tokyo at the moment is uh, this exotics tournament, which I don't think we're going to be able to do. I don't think we can really do anything about that, so we're just going to do some Tokyo races. I believe we still have more tournaments to unlock. I could be wrong about that, though. In fact, here's how we check. Tokyo progress, only 64%, so there's no way that we only have the exotics, exotics tournament left, because that'll only up our percentage by like 3 or, like well, probably like 6% if we complete it. But even still, that's not going to give us the last 36 so there's no way I'm I'm even close to done. I've got more stuff to unlock for sure. So I just got to be doing more Tokyo races. Although I believe finishing the exotics tournament, if you finish all the class tournaments, you also get like another tournament as well. But again, I'm still pretty positive there's more tournaments to be done. But I do get to show off this amazing car. I freaking love this thing, this SL55. Oh, they're using XLRs. Okay. That's challenging. Oh wait, oh those aren't oh those aren't XLRs. Those were <laughs> I know what those are. Those are Chrysler ME412s. Those are not XLRs at all, buddy. Oh boy. Oh, I could be in really big trouble. Chrysler ME412 is the fastest car in this entire game. By the way, um, this although it is in the luxury sedans class is not technically classified 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 as a luxury sedan as you can see right here this is a little bit different what was that that is zone um zone is the upgradable ability for tuners sport bikes exotics and certain types of luxury sedans meaning this one which i believe this is like a luxury coupe or something like that excuse me um a luxury coupe it means it's stronger than a tuner but it's still sort of like a tuner basically and because it gets and then it gets that ability which is zone zone shit um zone is basically a slow-mo kind of thing because it it just allows you to slow down time and make things a lot easier for yourself when you're like hitting when you're like cornering and whatnot so that's always pretty cool oh boy oh boy no no, no don't hit that oh gosh okay jambalaya oh why did i hit my i did not mean to do that i did not mean to do that shoot all right, that's fine. It actually kind of helped me recover a little bit, although I am doing badly on, on my car's da damage meter. Okay, it's all right. Just, just try not to crash too much. Gosh, I'm beating the crud out of this thing. Okay, so we're on. Oh shoot! 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 Okay. Let's see. We're almost done, though. We're almost done. If I can just save this nitrous, and then get up on that high road, again. Here, here, here. Come on! Don't hit a wall. Don't hit a wall. Too hard, anyway. Okay, there we go. Excuse me, sir. I really need you to go. BUS! <sighs> I should have used zone. I should have used zone. By the way, you only get zoned by missing things. Every single time you run into something, your zone meter goes down. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to start this from scratch because I am I am playing terribly. Let's let's try to do this with commentary. Come on, come on. Oh, no, no. Give me that slip stream. Give me that, give me that slipper stream. There we go. All right. So, um... If you haven't noticed already from the last couple episodes, including this one, um, everything's exotics now. Everyone's using Class A vehicles. Um, they're all using, like, Lamborghinis and whatnot. And that's a bit of a problem, because I haven't unlocked anything in that class yet. Now, I've said this before, but I'll say it again. Class A is a gigantic upgrade from Class B. Like, it's m major upgrade. Like, the difference... Is just it's it makes it it's almost an impossible difference like you're you're literally like from class C to class um, or in a class D to class C you're getting like a you know maybe a 10% a, a upgrade maybe maybe 15% and then from you know like let's let's say from class C to class B you're maybe getting like a like a 30% upgrade and then from class B to class A is like a what is like a 60% upgrade it's just freaking huge and I just went the wrong way ah! so that being the case um all that basically ah, I did not want to fall off frick okay that being the case um I am going to be getting 
my butt handed to me quite uh, frequently for a little while, which it can be a problem for progression, especially getting this LP actually going somewhere. Um, just because there's, you know, you have to win every race. You cannot, I mean, it's only in the, the few tournaments that you can get away with placing second or third in a couple races, but you just have to win. And, you know, these guys, they are so much faster than me. Even this car, which is like the best Class B car, like, without a, without question. It is the best. I don't, anyone wants to argue with me on that, they can, but it's not going to do them a lick of good because this is the best. It is legitimately the best car, and no one can ever convince me otherwise. And it's just, I don't know, it's just a little bit, um, it's just a little bit frustrating having to deal with these guys. Yeah, he actually kind of read my mind there. I'm trying to keep calm. Um, um, it's just they have such a major advantage over me. Because um, not only is their speed better, their handling is ten times better. Their acceleration, everything, is just better. Um, I'm going to go through the, these three... I'm going to go through just three Tokyo Challenge episodes here. This is the first one, and then we're going to do two more. And I'm going to be sticking to this car throughout, throughout all of that. However... After that, why did I just run into a wall? After that is all said and done, um, we're gonna head back in Detroit, and the immediate goal is going to be to unlock Class A. I wanted to give this um, this car enough screen time for it to be relevant because this car is my is my babe, and I wanted to unlock it a lot sooner. But because of the way I had to do the progression and whatnot, you know, to make this more of a let's play and get out of my way, um, to make this more of a let's play and whatnot. Um, Excuse me. Oh my gosh, that was crazy. Crazy maneuver. If you ma can you imagine seeing that in real time? Unfortunately, uh, Zone even slows down replay time. So like, if you're like, oh, I want to watch that in replay. Sorry, it'd still be slow down. I was expecting there to be an opening there. And then the path, the bottom of that was revealed to me. And there was nothing. There was no hole of any sorts. All right, I need to get to a race. But yes, um, I wanted this car to have some, you know, screen time. Because it, it's just, it's so good. It's so good. For... It outshines the rest of Class B by a lot, which is why I'm actually probably not going to have the worst time with Class A's, because this is probably the only one that can truly compete with them. It just amazes me that there's still people that can... And, and you know, saying that, it still blows my mind that there are people that can beat Class A's and beat an entire game using just Class D's. Like, that alone just boggles my mind. I mean, they have to retry over and over and over and over again. Okay, now that... Oh, wait a minute. These aren't Chrysler ME412s. These are Cadillac... Uh, what are they called? I forget. Shoot. It is there. It is a Class A vehicle, I believe. It's a Cadillac, so it's not as fast as I thought it was. Um, they're Cadillac somethings. And I don't remember exactly what. Okay, that's fine. Oh, that's fine. Okay, keep going, keep going. There we go. Shoot. Just kind of winging it, just hoping that I, hoping for the best. Now I do like Zone, honestly. That is, it is. I as nice as Aggro is at times, um, Zone can is usually the most helpful for re, re, you know reasons like this. That was like a, a you know 140 degree turn that I had to make right there, and I made it with like no problem because of Zone. Zone is so nice to have. I mean. It doesn't necessarily. It, I mean, it just keeps your car from slowing down a lot. It it's so useful, and there's because there's so many corners that are just going to take you by surprise. And if you notice, like you can tell when that corner is like going to be a problem, like as you're hitting it. And then it's you know, then what you do is you just basically put on zone, and you kind of drift around the corner, and you're good. That's all there really is to it. I mean, you don't even really have to do do actual drifting when you're in zone mode. As you can see, I'm actually kicking these guys' butt. Holy crap! Okay, that one, C, caught me off guard, so kind of glad I did zone. Also, it allowed me to assess what I was going to be into, I'm getting into as soon as I finish the corner, which is nice. I love zone. I really love zone. Okay. Asakusa Strip. But this is, I guess, I guess this is the Asakusa Strip, this whole area, which this is honestly my favorite part of t the Tokyo map, honestly. Okay. Probably didn't need to use it there, actually. That's why I just immediately turned it off, so that was kind of a waste. But that's alright. Yeah, that's another thing though. You can also automatically, just like aggro, turn it on and off on command, which is nice. And it's just, it's so helpful. 
Just try not to run into street, um, you know, items, you know, like lamp posts and stuff like that, and street lights, and cars, and then you will continue to get your zone up. Uh, you have to be moving though. If you stop moving at any time, your zone meter, zone meter, like if you can, oh, completely stop moving, your zone meter will drop down to nothingness. So, um, at least the one that's refilling, not your actual uses of zone. Okay, well that wasn't such a bad um, run. Oh, what is that? It's the Cadillac something, and I forget what it is. It's kind of like a poor ripoff of the Chrysler ME412, and not as good. But anyways, ugh. I want to say like it's the. No, not CT. Those are like the freaking. It's not the Cadillac 16, which is the one I keep trying to think of, because I know what the Cadillac 16 is. Cadillac 16 is like a like almost like a limousine. I mean, it's just like super stretched and long. It's not like a limousine, but it's super stretched and long. And it's actually, um, you actually don't get that until much, much later in the game, even though it is a Class B vehicle. So, all right, let's try to do one more race in this video. I'm just going to head over here to get to that. Yeah, okay, I guess this car is going to, might actually hold up a little bit better than I thought, as evident by the last race, because that was actually pretty easy um, to do, even though I could already tell that wasn't the easiest course. It's just, this car is just fast. This its only real weak spot is acceleration, unfortunately. All right, Shinjuku Circuit, and it's showing the same loading image, like loading screen image, like every time. What the heck? I get that the Lamborghini Diablo is cool, but you don't have to rub it in. All right, last race. Gosh, here goes nothing. Look at their acceleration, just so much faster than mine. It's just ugh, it's so ridiculous. Okay, this is two laps, so I guess we can be pretty generous with our nitruses here. That's a wide turn. It's okay. Holy crap, where are you asking me to go? Holy crap. Wait, 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 wait. There was an alleyway there? Okay, remember that for the next lap. Shoot. All right, that's fine. That's fine. Okay, I can catch these guys. They are not really all that fast, to be honest. Right, there we go. Look at this. I'm just flying past them. I would expect better out of you guys, but then again, this car is pretty sweet. Yeah, police officer, you just keep your eye on that dude that you already have pulled over. Don't even worry about me. I am no threat to the citizens of Tokyo, I promise you. Okay, go. That was so close. That was so close. I basically clipped through the wall. <laughs> That's how close that was. That's too close. Okay, probably shouldn't have gone that way. I know what I know which way to go on the second lap though. So shoot. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. I got my nitruses replenished. Also, nice name of the song by the way. Six and zero gravity. Okay, so there is an alleyway to go through. Where are you? There is. Where, is, this, is this it? That's not it. What the? What alleyway did you guys go through? I, oh, I guess they just went that way. That's fine though. That's that's better. That's better. That was a lot better than the last lap. Uh, stop crashing into stuff. There we go. So I got my nitrous shots. And man, I am taking a lot of damage with this car. I mean, I know I'm flying super fast, but come on. Let's slow down for a second. There we go. I've got lots of zone that I'm going to probably make use of right here. Okay, stop sliding. There we go. And let's use it. We're going to probably use another one right here. There, 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 there. Don't hit into anything. Don't hit into anything. Okay, good, 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 good. And I'm going to probably use it coming up just a second. Oh, I'm not going to be able to use it. Shoot, 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 shoot. Okay, fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Don't hit the wall. Don't hit the wall. Don't hit the wall. You know what? All right. It's okay. It's okay. I'm going to do it. Ugh. I wanted to try to cut through and jump to the finish line, but which wouldn't have been convenient the first lap round because then I would have missed that first turn, but uh, second lap, it would have been nice. Oh, well. Didn't need it. Okay, you can stop saying that. Anyways, that is actually going to be it for this episode of Let's Play Midnight Club 3 Double Edition Remix. Next episode, guys, we will be doing more Tokyo Challenge races, so I will see you all in the next one.